What's going on guys, this is Joe Young coming at you another video for the week. This week I'm going to give you guys an update on my Planet Reef tank rack inside. But before I actually give an update on that tank, please make sure you guys check the previous video. I'm doing an 8,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving you guys some free t-shirts, make sure you guys check it out. Just literally leave a comment in the previous video. I'll leave the link somewhere over here. If you guys want a chance to win a free t-shirt, make sure you guys check that out. A few weeks ago, I was able to set up the 33 gallon long in the middle and I was able to plumb the return for that down to the sump, but I couldn't really get the top tanks uh, up and running yet just because I was waiting on a few parts and also some of the tanks weren't cycled where I can actually move fish and plants to those tanks. This week I'm actually able to finally finish the plumbing from the top down and also from the return pump all the way up to the top racks. So two tanks actually have to move. One is a turtle tank, so I need to temporarily house the turtle in a little tank right now. The second tank will be the other uh, reef tank that's currently set up in the middle. So right now I'm going to condense all the fish into one tank right now. I actually have a couple of breeder boxes ready for these guys. I'm going to go ahead and temporarily put the fish into there and just let them chill for a little bit while I actually tear this tank down and actually cycle it. Since I'm actually moving two tanks worth of things into one tank, the tank is actually overcrowded with just plants and just rocks right now. It's only going to be temporary so I'm not too concerned. It will be probably one or two days tops because I'm actually going to transfer that live rock and also some of that media into the new system so it actually promotes some of the cycle. And as you can see the black storm clownfish are actually happy. They're chilling in this little tank right now. I can't put them directly into the big tank just because there's other clownfish. The maroon clownfish will be very mean to them so I don't want that to happen. Uh, the other pair is actually sitting on the other side and we just have a ton of macroalgae. Probably the tang will eat probably a quarter of that before I actually can move most of that across. And I'm okay with that just because we have so much macroalgae right now. Alright, and the second tank is actually really easy. Uh, it's the turtle tank. It barely has any water in it. I just removed a couple of the rocks, uh, rinsed it down a little bit, moved the turtle into a new little tank. And I just literally picked it up and put it into the rack system. So when the tank's finally in place, I was able to finish the plumbing for the overflow box. Um, I couldn't really pre-do it just because I didn't know the dimensions where it's going to sit. I finally decided to actually center the overflow box um, directly to the tank so that the plumbing could be easily, you know, plumbed and actually accessed in the back um, and none of it can kind of crisscross each other. I'm actually not going to show you guys the actual cut, glue, and plumb portion of it just because it's really going to be boring. Uh, but let's just say it took several hours just because I actually had to measure uh, things cut it go back, you know test fit it measure cut test fit it It took a couple iterations and I actually had to redo uh, one portion just because they didn't come out straight just because there was so many bends to it and uh, When I was actually holding it together to glue I actually had one kind of tilted a little bit and it was kind of off and to me it could have worked But it, it kind of bothered me that knowing that was slightly off with this setup, I went something slightly different with the return pump. I normally just do a flex uh, hose uh, directly into some sort of barb which feeds all the way up into the return side. Uh, this side I wanted to try something different, just one for my learning opportunities and just experiencing something different. I decided to hard plumb um, everything from the return pump up. Um, one, just to kind of keep the purple theme all the way through. I don't want to break the color theme with a, you know, flexible, you know, hose or some sort of tubing. So I decided to just kind of just plumb it all the way through. Now the one thing I wish I had kind of done ahead of time was probably had a little bit more room in the back so I can actually access some of the plumbing and some of the actual compartment. Once I actually put some of the pipes in place, it was very hard for me to actually sneak back there and actually, you know, kind of measure and do stuff. It was very, very tight. My back was against the wall and the PVC pipes was actually ch touching my chest. So that was how, you know, tight the room was there back there in terms of working. So um, not very fun uh, to, to actually get back there and trying to, you know, put your hand and actually trying to test fit some of the stuff there. Once I got all the plumbing cut, measured, glued in place, um, I actually let the, the glue kind of sit overnight. Filled the tank with live sand, some rocks, and filled the tank all the way up with RO DI water. Once everything was in place and ready to go, I went ahead and turned on the return pump. The one thing with gluing a PVC and just doing anything with cuts, glues, and whatnot, you have to really check for leaks, even if it's a very tiny leak. 
Out of all the fittings, I had one leak on the overflow side. It was very, very tiny, literally one drop every like maybe hour or so. Very, very minute, very small. I could have just let that be. I knew over time that drip would probably cause an issue with either the rack or just, you know, water all over the floor. So I went ahead and took everything apart. So luckily it's actually a really easy fix. I went ahead and unscrew the actual bulkhead. Wiped it down just in case if there was actually debris that was caught up in between the washer and actually the seal. Took some additional plumbing tape, wrapped it around the bulkhead, screwed it back in, and fixed the leak. So right now the system's up and running, which is great. Now it's just going to cycle probably for the next three to one month. During that cycling phase, I actually can put the macro algaes into that tank, clearing up some room for the fish to swim outside. I'm gonna go ahead and actually slowly move the plants into that system. I want to kind of just scape the top tanks just slightly and then from there just let the tank kind of make sure it's fully cycled before I actually add anything to that tank just because I don't want the tank to crash, go through fluctuations or anything weird like that. Alright guys, and that is the update for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's update. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed and like always, until next time guys, peace.